everybody, this is LOD Wise, and today we are going to look at how to transfer your Fallout Shelter vaults from your iOS device to your PC and actually be able to play it. Now, I wouldn't go back and forth, you know, you may cause problems. So, first, what we're going to do, we are going to go look for a program called iExplorer, as you see here on the screen. And just go ahead and click that link in the description it'll take you right there but see right there that's the link that's where you're going to be going and you're going to just going to be pressing that download button right there a uh, the next screen will pop up you hit the save you save it to your PC and we install it now and once it's installed of course I always put something on my desktop so it's easier to uh, mess with and whatnot so once you get through the whole entire setup install quick time install everything and it says to whatever it's no big deal and once we get it up and running now this screen here you can buy it you don't have to buy it we can do everything on the demo mode so right down there at the bottom you just click that button right there and then it'll bring you into the next screen I did a pictures here because my course I didn't want my information out so I blurred everything out and see that's my device right there now the next step what we're going to be doing is clicking on that backup button and then we'll go from there all right now uh, we've gone ahead and we've pressed on the backup button let's press the down arrow it's going to load in and the next one right here is backup explorer we're going to click that one too see it's loading so we're waiting it may take load honestly it, I mean, it may take a while depending on what you have on your device and whatnot. There we go. Okay, now we are going to look for this uh, app domain dot fallout or sorry Bethesda Fallout Shelter. So right there. Okay, so we just double clicked on it. Now we're going to double click on documents, and it's right there vault dot save so it's going to be vault one two three blah 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 down the road whatever you have so we are going to highlight both of them see we're going to right click on them go down to export to folder i'm dumping them on my desktop and then there they are see they just popped up right there so the next step is to actually dump them into the pc save so i'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick so we're going to pull this up. We're going to go to Documents. We're going to My Games. We are going to Fallout Shelter. Now, right here. These two are my phone backup saves. So we're just going to ignore them, delete them real quick. So now, the next step will be to pull these two over. So we're going to highlight them and drag them over. Now, we have them both in there. We don't need that anymore. So we see what the, now those are the phone. Or I'm sorry, those are yeah the phone ones. So what we'll do is I've already made a backups right there in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete them anyways. And this is the PC one right here. I just you know Control C and Control V them now here. Now this is the PC version. So what we'll do is I'll pull up the Fallout Shelter real quick and let's look at that. Okay, now the next, uh, oh, hurry up once it loads in. Okay, Z476, that's the one I did that, uh, when I did the review, this is the one I was playing with, so. If you go back and look at that other video, but see, this is it right here. This is uh, everything, really. There's really nothing that I've really done. So, this is pretty new, it just started, so let's go ahead and move to the next one. Now, remember, those are my PC ones, so I'm going to drop them back in there, replace them. Okay, whatever. Okay, now, <laughs> let's go into the phone backup real quick. Now, these are the phone ones. Now, I'm not sure, honestly, if you could go in and change, like, say, this one phone was set as Vault 1, and my PC is set as a Vault 1. So, I'm not sure if you can go back and change them. 
and see if they will work without corrupting themselves. I'm not sure, so I'll have to test that out. And if you guys test out, comment down below and I'll read it. So, so 584 is my phone. I play this a lot on my phone, so I am almost nearly maxed out on everything. I have everybody in their own little uniforms and their correct building rooms and stuff. I have training rooms that I train people. Once they're maxed out, I move them into the other rooms and, and you know pull them out. My main goal is to make everybody maxed level in everything. So here I'll show you. This is my freaking phone one. I still got people out the door. I mean, I have been playing quite a while. Now I haven't been playing for a little while because of course I was waiting for the BC version to come out. But um, if we click out here, so I have people waiting. I'm sitting at 200 max people. I have 10 people out on the world right now, and they're all dead because I haven't played for a while, but I'll definitely bring them in and start playing around this one again since now I can actually uh, play it without losing everything, but this is basically where I'm at right now. Now, there are a few little design flaws that I've done here and there, which I need to fix, but other than that, as you see, people have been maxed out in certain areas. I need to move them into other rooms. And sitting at 95, look how much you know money I have. I mean, I have a lot of money, so, and uh, that's it basically. So this is how you transfer from iOS to PC, and you know, I'm, I wouldn't go back honestly. I would just probably stay with you know one way basically for right now. But Bethesda, you gotta fix that uh, cloud system. There has to be a way that people can save from the uh, game in game cloud, and then have the PC version be able to access that cloud as well because that could honestly hurt the PC version quite a bit because there's a lot more people out there that have spent a lot of money on the phones and I would like to play on a bigger screen and they can't because well you know it's kind of a pain in the ass and this is about the only way I could find without rooting without hacking there is no hacking rooting anything at all because I'm not gonna do that with my phone because that right there just honestly causes more problems so I'm not gonna do that and uh, they're just that some that's something I think needs to be fixed and addressed pretty damn quickly because a lot of other people may not be able to figure this out I mean this is taking me a while to figure out how to even actually do this so um, I, and uh, I'll post all links in the description where you can download that uh, file where you can download everything on how to actually do it and now I have noticed uh, that the only way to get these files is by going in through your backups because with the iOS updates they blocked it out again like you can't you can't touch it basically so you have to go in through the backups like I showed you to do it there really is no other way to do it and go figure wow I'm being attacked by uh, death claws that's interesting and that'll be definitely first I like I said I haven't played this for a little while so well, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments if you have anything else. But uh, I'll catch you guys next time.